Energy phase three. We inhale and interlace the hands in front of our body, lifting up in our chest. With the exhale, push the hands forward, curl the back and inhale, reach high. Exhale, release the hands down to the side below the knees and then start the movement from the beginning. When you bend your knees, keep the back straight. When you push the hands forward, draw the chin towards the chest. Make sure the knees stay in line with your toes while you bend the knees. The eyes follow the directions of your hands. change to the next movement. Pick up the hands above your knees, open the chest wide and with the exhale release the back forward. Add the movement of your arms. With the exhale the elbows move to the side and the fingers have an inner rotation. With the inhale the elbows draw in and the fingers move to the side. Take the back into a long arch with the inhalation and then release forward with the exhalation. Each time when you inhale, you open the chest wide. When you exhale, you soften the shoulder part. With the next exhale, you will release the hands first towards the floor. Open the feet as wide as your mat, and then place the hands below the knees or above the knees. With the inhale, you lengthen the back forward, and with the exhale, you pull the head between the legs with bending the knees. So each inhale, you lengthen the back, open the chest, and with the exhale, you round the back and relax the neck. If you feel you have too much tension in your legs, you can keep the legs bent during the whole exercise. The full repetition time is eight times when you take your own counts. We'll place the hands down to the floor and take two steps back into a high plank, closing the feet. Eight times, pushing the heels forward with the inhale and exhale back. Keep your thighs strong during the exercise and make sure the hips stay in the same height. They will not move up and down. Keep your neck straight and your lower core strong. We'll take the knees down and push back towards the heels. From there, coming forward. And we move into the next exercise, low push-ups, high push-ups, stretching back to the heels. Every movement is connected to the breath. Inhale forward, exhale down, inhale lift, exhale back. Repeat this movement again eight times on your own. Then we change to the next one. We lower down to the floor and we stretch the legs back. Lift the hands front and behind your chest. Place the elbows close to the ribs and we start the single cobra. Each time when you lift over to the side, take the legs strong and the toes point. 
the eyes will follow over your shoulder. We repeat the movement five times each side. Make sure your elbows stay close to the ribs. Tuck the toes, lift your pelvis, tilt the pelvis and push up into your hands. Stretch back towards the heels into a V pose. From here we lift the heels with the inhale. Lower down onto the knees, exhale and sit back to the heels. Again you continue the movement five times in your own rhythm. Inhale, tuck the toes, exhale V pose. Inhale, lift the heels, exhale, sit back to the heels. the right foot forward, tuck the left toes and stretch the back leg. The inhale, we lift the arms up to the side to the ceiling. Exhale, below the knees. Four more times, range of motion. Take the arms wide when you lift and lower when you exhale. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, take the hands down towards the floor, open the right foot, take a stretch in your hips and from there you step back into a V pose. First taking the knees down, sitting back to the heels and then you roll back up onto your knees, changing side, left foot forward, tuck the right foot, stretch the back leg, and again, inhale, lift the arms up to the side. Exhale, touch your hands below the knee. Make sure during the exercise, you keep the back thigh strong and the front knee stays in line with the front toes. Again, from there, taking the hands down to the floor, open the left foot Nice hip stretch there and then step back into a V pose with bent knees and knees down, relax back to the heels. Next part is deep work. We will have 12 minutes of an upbeat workout. We'll start with running. You are in a plank position and you will pick up the knees high up towards the chest, almost like you would running. We'll do this for one minute. Try to keep the shoulders strong. The fingers are spread so your wrists are safe. Keep your pelvis more or less in the same height than your shoulders and work from the legs. If you feel you can pick up the beat of the music, that's great. If you feel it's too fast for you, then take your own rhythm. But keep that running for yourself. We have a holding pose. Open the feet as wide as the mat. Come up onto your fist and then hold stability. Feel the breath and the pulsation in the body. Keeping the thigh strong and the lower core firm. Mentally prepare yourself for the next exercise. We come back 
down to the hands and jump forward, hip width apart, roll up. We start by picking up both hands, swing through and come up, swing through and come up. You release the body and keep it strong when you come up. We change into a squat and lift. So you bend your knees each time in line of your toes and keeping the back strong. Make sure your arms stay straight. We'll combine the movement. You swing through and then you squat. Now each time when you lower into the knees, try to go deeper into your legs. When you swing through, release the neck and keep the shoulders soft. We keep the full motion for two minutes. And if you want to take it more difficult, you can jump while you swing through. You prepare the body by picking up the arms really high through the swing. Make sure when you lift up into the air, your toes are point. There is full body tension, so it's easier to pick yourself up into the air. Even if it's getting a little bit hard, keep it up. Feel the breath. During the swing, if you like to, you can close the eyes, but make sure you keep your balance. We have a little bit more to go. Holding position. Stay in a storm position, the knees again, bend in line of your toes. The back is straight, the arms are next to your ears. Feel the heartbeat and your breath. It's the moment where you can center back. Come back up, standing, and lower the arms to the side. We build up into the next exercise. Pick up the right arm, and then the left. We'll start by single arm movement. Left and right. Left and right. From there, we will start by stepping out to the side. So the same arm with the same legs. Left side, right side. Make the step big and bend your knees to the outside in line of your toes. Pick it up into a swing. Let the head follow the arm so the neck stays soft. Again, two minutes in the same movement and we'll add another movement in between. We squat, come up, squat, come up. If you can, touch the floor with your hands. If that's too much for your back, then keep them just below the knees. You pick up the pace. And then we will start combining the side step with the squat. Side step, squat, left side, and squat. You continue from side to side, always with a squat in between. the bounce when you do the side step. Bend your knee and right back up into center. Use the arms to feel the movement. It's a side swing and then strong when you come back. We'll release the arms to the side, fingers to the floor, 
and then open the arms to the side. If possible, lift the heels. It's a holding pose again for 30 seconds. Sit lower into your knees. It's an active break. Again, during the balancing pose, you have time to center. You come back up into standing, cross the arms in front of you, and come back down into your knees. We'll start bouncing. We will add steps to the back. So each time when you step back, it's a high impact coming front low. From there we'll start using the back arm. Pull it back into your elbow. The front arm stays strong. The head will follow the back arm. When you come forward, each time you lower the head towards the legs. If you want it more difficult, you can try to get the elbows low to your legs when you come forward, so it's a deeper squat. Also here, the movement will be for two minutes. And you're using the arm strength for a nice alignment. We stay in center, open the legs wide to the side, bend the knees over the toes, and again an active break for 30 seconds. Push the hands away from you, the hands are in flexion. Make sure the lower back is full, so you have a slight tilt in your pelvis. We close the legs back into hip width apart distance and we prepare for the next movement. Pick up both arms in front of you, hands in a fist. We will start with one arm swinging back and forward, right and left. When you feel comfortable, you will start moving both arms in the same time. The head follows again the back arm and then from here you start bending the knees into a bounce, making the movement bigger and you swing from side to side. Keep the neck soft, the arms stay strong and release. So each time when the arms lift, they are strong, when they swing to the other side, they release. If you like, you can start lifting the heel that you're facing towards to. It's almost like you would walk. If you feel more safe by keeping both feet flat on the floor, then that's an option. The last exercise. So see if you can go deeper into your legs. Give all your energy into it. We're still in a circulating energy phase. And we come back up into a last holding pose for one minute. Open the legs wide to the side. Sit into your knees. Left hand is in a fist, right hand in flexion. You have a nice pressure into the palm of your hand. And the eyes are just gazing over the fingertips. Center your breath, calming your mind. Stay in this position, lower your legs. Soon we will be ready for the next training part.